Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Having some technical issues, so you will see me in the circle today. I apologize. Um, big money Bolo video. And in this video, I'm going to share with you one item that I had on auction that I should have took the offer. And I'll tell you about that when I get to the item. But you know what happens sometimes? My husband's always like, why do you put best offer on auctions? And I'm going to tell you guys why I do it in this video. All right. So these are items you can buy low and sell high. Items to be on the lookout for. Items that I've picked up at thrift stores, estate sale, garage sales, different places like that. So let's get started. All right. I picked up at a garage sale and I paid $5 for all of these. And I took... Um, I'm sorry, I was going to say I took a best offer, but these sold for the sale price of $57.20. And they are Arch Religious Books for Children, and they are very vintage and super, super cool. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in. See, you can see the condition is not great. If the condition would have been better, I would have asked more. But these are a hard to find item and I saw them at the garage sale and I was like, I really think that these are going to do well. And they did and they sold fast. So definitely be on the lookout for these. The next item, this one I pulled out of a mystery box, a Halloween mystery box to be, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was a Halloween mystery box. So this is a Bath and Body Works 2015 candle pedestal. And Halloween stuff just tends to do well. Vintage Halloween, oh my goodness, if you find it, buy it if you can. Um, definitely, definitely big money bolos in the vintage Halloween category. I've got a couple videos on vintage Halloween and I'm going to be working on another one tonight. So definitely go check out my channel for the bolo category vintage Halloween or Halloween bolos. So this one, like I said, is not vintage but very cool item that sold very fast. Um, it was on sale for $48.40 and the buyer paid shipping and they did not even make me an offer. They just bought it. The next item I sold is this Funk and Wagnalls Dictionary. Um, it's from 1933, you guys. I picked this up at a garage sale. This was a very long tail item. It took a long time to sell, but I paid $1 for it and it sold for $47.30. Again, um, it just sold for the asking price, but look how cool that is. The um, different like design on the side of it. Pretty cool, huh? It's not on that side. That's weird. Anyway, so I did show all sides of the book, but it's it's got some pictures and detail in it. So pretty cool item, but long tail. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So there's this mug and this mug and somebody offered me $44 for this one and $44 for this one. And I had a bunch of watchers and I declined. Oh, actually, I think I let it sit 24 hours and maybe it timed out. I forgot. I can't remember the details, but I was like, oh. So I would have got $88 for the two mugs, but instead I got $75.99 because this one only got bid up to $41 and this one sold for asking of $34.99. Um, so I did lose a little money, but the reason I do this um, best offer um, on auctions is because sometimes I'll put something on auction and I will get like, like offer after offer, 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 like crazy offers. And then I know it's a hot item. And if I don't have a bid, I will go um, sometimes, not all the time, but let's say I started the item at $49.99 and I had a bid for $149 or an offer. If I don't have a bid, I sometimes go in and just change the start price because I don't always know how in demand my auctions are. So it kind of gives me an idea and then I up the starting price and let the bidding start from there. 
And we're allowed to do that. If there's no bid, like the person could have bid on the item. Instead, they made an offer. So you keep that in mind. You can go in and do that. And I have done that. And I have gotten more. Um, my minimum price went for that's where it started at. So instead of starting at the $49.99 and getting bid up, I think I I think it was a hat, to be honest with you. I ended up changing the starting price to $149.99 because I was getting crazy offers. I had no idea it was worth so much. And I think it ended up selling for over $200. So um, yeah, definitely keep that in mind. But on these mugs, I could have gotten um, $44 each. And I didn't do that on these because you know the difference between $34.99 and $44 wasn't that substantial of amount. And I figured, you know, they'll just bid it up, but it didn't happen. So, all right, the next item, I feel like that was a longer story than it had to be. Sorry, guys. Um, I sold another Berkham bunny and I sold this one for $70 best offer. And, um, I always tell you guys this. So for those of you that are new to my channel, you may not have heard this, but for those of you that are I've been here a while, you know about the Berkham Bunnies. But if you're new to the channel and you want to hear the story behind it, you can go to Primetime Treasure Hunter's channel, Primetime Treasure Hunter, and look up the thrift battle between Donatella Bodolino and Bolo Buddies, which you guys want to go watch it anyway because it's it's awesome. It's so good. And you can see who won. But I tell you about these bunnies in that video. And I have um, Primetime Treasure Hunter's video, not video, um, his channel linked in the description. Okay, I need to get moving here. Sorry, guys. Um, Berkies, I think these are like Birkenstocks. Uh, let me get you the, here's the inside, what it looks like. And I got these at a garage sale for $5 and I sold them for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. This, uh, I can never say this. It's like aluminum, aluminum. I can't say it. Abominable. Uh, I really have to think about it. What is wrong with me in these A's? Anyway, this is a vintage 2000 abominable snowman figure. And um, it's by Plain Mantis and it's Rudolph Company, Bumble. And I sold this for $42.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I did get this at a garage sale and I probably had a couple bucks in it. I remember it was a whole table of stuff like this and I paid one price for all of it. So I got a really good deal. The next item are these Hallmark Peanuts Gang Wireless Christmas Snow Show Music Works. I picked these up at a garage sale. I think I paid $10 for these. And I knew that they were a bolo. I'm just like, they've got to be a bolo. I know they're a bolo. I listed them and they sold super fast. Like when I say super fast, that means like a week or less. Um, if I say fast, that means like a month or two. I don't know. To me, that's still pretty fast. But super fast, this sold super fast. And I sold it for a best offer of $100 and the buyer paid shipping. So what you do is um, you push one of them and they're all like connected and they play like a tune. So they're really, really cool. The next item I sold is this Gillette Sensor Razor and it's new old stock from 1993. And this was inside of something else that was new old stock. So this was a nice little surprise. And I talk about this in one of my bread and butter bolo videos. Um, I share with you the bread and butter item that I bought and found this in. So definitely check that out. So I had about 50 cents in this and it sold for $46 and 75 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Christopher Radko Santa ready to wear Christmas ornament. It is glass and I love Christopher Radko ornaments because they sell always, always, always for me. Um, this one is not a vintage one or an older one. It's probably discontinued. I couldn't find another one like it. So I listed it high at $80 and I was running a sale at 15% off, but somebody offered me $45. So I went ahead and took it because I only had a couple bucks in it. So definitely be on the lookout for Christopher Radko. This Drake's handmade tie I picked up at a garage sale. 
I think, or maybe this was a thrift store, either a garage sale or a thrift store. But I usually, you know, pay like 50 cents for ties, if that. Um, I buy them in bundles a lot. But I took a best offer of $45 on this and the buyer paid shipping. This mohair bunny, um, I picked this up at a garage sale and I bought so much stuff at this garage sale. So I probably have a couple bucks in this. It was one of those deals where I just made a pile and they gave me a price. And I don't know what is on this tag. I don't know if that's like an artist's signature. I don't know if this is one of a kind. I think that I underpriced this, to be honest with you guys. Um, I started the auction at $49.99 and I probably should have started it at $99.99 um, because it's mohair and it might be one of a kind. So uh, yeah, I might've messed up on this one. Either way, I had a couple bucks in it and sold it for $49.99. I did go into the seller's store that bought this because I do that from time to time um, whenever I think I may have undersold something. And they had a couple mohair items listed for like 200 to $300. And I was like, oh no, they're going to list it. But I just checked today and I didn't see it in their solds and I did not see it in their active. So maybe they just collect and then are selling some of the ones that they don't want anymore. I'm not certain. But um, definitely be on the lookout for mohair items. This came out of my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, my bulk buy. Um, the 344 pounds of jewelry and this sold for $38 and 25 cents and the buyer paid shipping and it's a tricolor sliced cuff bracelet and it's got the purple, I think it's pronounced agate and it's a really, really neat piece. So yeah, the next item is this Texas instruments calculator. It was missing the cover. So I priced it at um, 70 with 15% off. So it sold for $59 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I actually won this in a drawing on Instagram from Harry Tornado. If you guys have not checked out Harry Tornado, definitely go check him out. And I also have a video of the unboxing if you wanna see what else I got in that mystery box. The next item I sold are these Pottery Bowern Peyton Drape Pole Top Curtains. And I had five total. The person bought four of them for a total of $192. And the buyer paid the shipping. The hard part about these is I was not sure what color they were. So I was a little bit concerned that I could get a return or somebody was going to ask. But so far, so good. So, And those came from a garage sale. Again, that was the garage sale where I bought like so much stuff and I just bundled. So probably 10 bucks or less in all of them. The next item I sold is this vintage McDonald's Play Place drive through restaurant play set. And I sold this for $85 and the buyer paid shipping. And this was actually given to me by my sister. So I have $0 in it. The next item I sold is this Sony sports walkman tv it's a digital radio um i picked this up at a thrift store i did pay ten dollars for it and i did take a best offer of 70 and the buyer paid shipping i could have held out for more but i had 10 bucks in it and i just wanted to move it the next item i sold are these free people ankle strap to um peep toe sandals uh they're new without the box they've still got the Oh, what do you call it? Uh, plastic on the bottom that you tear off. And I sold these for $55.25 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at a garage sale. I believe they were $5. The next item I sold is this My Little Pony Teapot Palace playset. I probably had five to seven bucks in this. I pick up uh, My Little Pony all the time at garage sales. Sometimes they're in the free box. Um, and then I got the play set. I think the play set was like three bucks. And then I just add the ponies in and sell it like that. And I sold this for $63.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these California Creation 17 piece holiday village set. And they are little things that you, little figures that you paint. And I did open it just 
to make sure that everything was there. Um, it was sealed, so I didn't have to do that, but I just wanted to make sure it was packaged good and all of that. And this sold for $63.75 also, and the buyer paid shipping, and I got this at a garage sale for $5. The next item is this vintage local firearm auto call break glass. Um, I actually have two more of these that I need to list, but I didn't want to flood the market with them. So um, they're in a pile somewhere and I have to go find them because this one sold really fast and I sold it for a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping and I paid about five bucks for it. And the last item are these mixed lot of 39 Lego minifigures and you can see like that one's missing a wing. Um, but for the most part, they're complete, but, um, some of them don't like have the helmets and stuff, but you know, they've got the arms, the legs, the body and all of that good stuff, but they may not be on the right figures. And I disclosed all of that, but I pick up Legos whenever I can. And I set this up as a lot and I sold it for auction style, $39 and 99 cents. And the buyer paid the shipping auction. Go check out another video. I've got lots of bread and butter videos, um, bread and butter bolo videos. Those are items that I bought low and sold for $35 or left, less. They're easier to find items. So go check that out if um, you're a reseller and you want to see more items to be on the lookout for. Also check out my category bolo videos. Those are great um, if you want to learn about a certain category um, like office supplies or Halloween. Christmas, Easter, board games, puzzles. I've got tons of category bolo videos. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.